Hi, I'm here in St. Catherine's today waiting for my clients for key handover to the new tenant. Um, this is a property that they bought three years back and they have the second tenant moving in. Hi, this is Kalpana Bhausar from Royal Lipage. I'm the broker of recorded Bhausar Realty. Um, I'm, the reason for me to make this video is to let you know that when my clients came to buy this investment property, they had a limited budget and they looked around in GTA, but it was not within their budget. So we decided to go outside of GTA and we came to St. Catharines. So they were able to get a property within their budget, which was less than 600,000 and a brand new bungalow loft. So sometimes do not limit yourself and um, say that I can't afford in this area. Area, so I'm not going to invest always looks outside the areas where there is a potential for growth and sometimes it, you can get things within your budget as well um, if you explore outside GTA as well uh, I'm going to be interviewing my clients Sunil and Anusha soon uh, who have been uh, investors for some time and they have an amazing success story that we would like to share with you hey guys I'm here today with my client Sunil and Anusha and a little fellow here with us and we are here at the investment property in St. Catharines and um, I just wanted to get, they are my clients for many years now, I think we have done what like 4 or 5 transactions together yeah. and um, they have been a really good investors for last few years and I want to get their opinion about how they felt the, so many years that they have been doing some investments. So Sunil, uh, you have done some good investments and I think they have given you good results. Um, what, are, what, what are the things that you would like to share somebody who would be a new investor? Uh, yeah, for the little bit of a story. So I came here like 40 years ago, like no money in my pocket though. Mm. Right now I have like three houses, two investment and then my own houses. I know Kalpana for like 10 years. Uh, she got me a condo in Mississauga. So far I paid that like around like very cheap, like brand new. And now it's price went up like double the price. Mm. After that, after I think like two or three years, so I bought this property in St. Catherine. Uh, even like the price went up like almost like 50% higher. Uh, I trust her with my eyes closed, like uh, I just trust her. And so far it's been, been, been very, very good. As you can see the tenant, I have a very good like tenant, like always keep the house clean, no problem. Neither in the one in Visaga, neither in, even here. So. What I would say, like, I trust her, like, a lot. Like, with my eyes closed, with all my heart, I trust her a lot, though. It's been very, very good with, with her. I know her for, like, more than 10 years now. Yeah. I and mean, you know what, it's good, sorry. It's good, to that she knows me, but I think, for me, what my point also here is not, like, my appreciation, but more is that Sunil has always taken chances. Whenever I've brought a project to him and I've explained him the project, he's like, okay, you think this is a good investment, What? Uh, let's look so look at some comparables, let's do some study and then jump on it, right? Not sure. sit back and keep doing analysis paralysis, right? So I think that's what the credit is where that yeah. you have, uh, we bought the first condo, I think in 2014. Yes, 2014. Uh, and uh, we got it in 2017. By the time Correct. we got the keys, it was already up by almost 150, 200,000. Yep. Then we got this one and by the time we got the keys and now it's been like three years. Three years, uh, yeah. and it's almost like double, double. not double, but fifty percent. Fifty percent more than, more what than. It was, right? yes. And both the properties are paying for itself. Hundred percent, yeah. Hundred percent. Yep. So my point over here is that take chances, make calculative risk, yeah. uh, but uh, jump in it. Don't yes. be, don't sit on the sidelines and keep analyzing it. And this is a success story that we hear yeah. that he came here fourteen years back. I'm sure with very limited money yeah. and now he can think of probably retiring maybe 5 ten years. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that is a plan though. Yeah, that is a plan. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you don't take risk, you will not go anywhere. Exactly. This is the key. Yes. The key is the risk. Yeah. And yeah. that's the woman power behind that. So yes. Anusha, what is your uh, experience so far with this whole thing? Well, overall it has been a good experience and uh, as he said, <laughs> We've been here 14 years ago. Yeah, like 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 just She's ourselves. So like yes, about it. yes. She's oh my yes. God, Anusha, I'm so. I can understand. You know what it is. I, I, as a mother, I know what she feels because yeah. it is such a great experience for her that she can leave something for her kids, right? And yes. I think that's what makes her very emotional. Oh my God! You know what this means so much to me because 
you know what sometimes i always say in real estate right you know it gives you the power to change other people's life if you do it with the right intention yeah. you can help and you know i was t- talking to one of my other client recently and he gave me a compliment which i'll never forget and he said to me uh, you changed my retirement from 75 to 60 yeah. yes. you know and it's not me it's yeah, yeah, him yes. who took the chances yes. and he did right and he has like three to four properties today Correct. and he was telling me i can retire in five years and i can live a peaceful life and thank god the decisions that i made yes right? it's a risk it's a risk so yeah. we are nowhere telling here that jump into something just go buy investment properties make like you took years like from yes. 2014 from 2023 to properties yes. right yeah. so you are taken it's not like you jumped into something no you've done your calculated risk you looked at what is more important right. for your family yes and then you made that decision yes. so yeah. that is what is my thing to people all the time like don't just jump into something because everybody is doing it yeah. sure. think about it if you can afford it if you can manage it yes it will always be a little bit pushing yourself a little bit and yeah. put yourself a little bit in the uncomfortable zone but that is required to yeah. build something to build family wealth it is required yeah. and I think you guys did amazing thank you yeah. so much no Anusha. thank you so much I'm so happy for you guys yeah. um, and thank you for taking the time to share your experience no with problem me. you're most welcome <laughs> Kapana